everyone, thank you for tuning in to my very first video where I am turning this playhouse into this amazing playhouse for my daughter. I am so excited that she decided to join me. If you enjoyed this video, can you please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe? And without further ado, let's get into it. So these are the two boxes. Um, Backyard Discovery playset is the Shenandoah. Um, we opted to buy ours on Walmart because that was the only place we could really find it. Um, we wanted a different one, but like I said, we couldn't find it. It was all sold out. I guess because of the COVID-19, everybody being quarantined, people are just buying these for the kids. Um, this box was the only box that really came destroyed. Um, my first task is to go through both boxes to make sure we have everything. Bringing out this kit because these are the chains for the slide and the swing. So we will see. All right, let's get started. I just saw that for quick and easy 3D assembling instructions, download the app built. So I'm gonna definitely download that to see if it's gonna help with this installation so we will see i'm glad i saw that because i would have been screwed oh no it says it on the instructions too all right everyone let's get into it so the first thing i did was sort through all of the boxes to make sure i had all of the pieces there was a ton and all i did was sort them out the best way i knew how i knew that i was going to be the main one building it so whatever made sense in my head, that's what I did. Um, I do want to mention too that this is just how I did it. This is not necessarily showing you, you know, how to do anything. Um, I wasn't really sure that I was going to actually record this. So that's why the footage is like it is. And this is why you're getting pretty much what you're getting. And I do want to mention too that after this, it was a few days later. I wasn't able to start on the build because we had the most horrible weather. It was raining for a couple days straight and then the ground was all muddy. And so as you can see, we have a structure up and I was so pressed to get started that when I had a nice day, I completely forgot to record. So just enjoy this little time lapse of me building. I do want to mention real quickly that I did use the built app as well as paper instructions to build this. Now I wasn't about to pay somebody over $500 to build this. So if you're anything like me who want to do things themselves, highly recommend that you use both in conjunction with each other in order to build this because some of the parts was a little confusing, but yeah, it wasn't too bad to build. And I definitely would recommend using more than one person <laughs> because some parts is really hard to do by myself. So that's why I have Lewis and Carrie helping me out in some areas. accessories and all the decor up but she absolutely loves it so far um yeah so see you in a quick sec okay so real quick i wanted to show you kind of like my process of how i was doing it so i just go page by page and i just take all my screws out that i need and just set it all to the side that way I know for sure I have the correct ones. And then I'll go over there and start building. So I'm gonna actually build the bench right now. And it's so funny because 
they gave us way more screws than we need, which is good. But I pretty much know every screw right now. Hi. Don't. Don't touch. I'll just take these and I'll head over and start building the bottom half of the bench. Throughout the whole process of building the playhouse, it was impossible for us to keep Tinsley away from it. Um, this was her birthday present and it was a couple months early than her birthday. So there was no way that we could possibly like hide it from her. So it did delay the process a little bit. Um, as you'll see soon, I had to stop working to make sure that I helped her up the ladder because there was some support that I didn't have on it yet. But you know, she enjoyed it and you'll see in this next clip super cute video of her going down the slide. Go. Go ahead up. I don't have the handle, so I want to make sure if she goes up that somebody's always behind her. She won't fall. Go ahead. And I don't have that up there right now because I have to spray paint them. But look how fast she goes down. Come on, hot shot. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yay. Isn't she just the cutest? <laughs> but anyway, I do want to mention that in this clip, you can tell that the part that I'm working on it is super muddy and the wood pieces aren't really lining up correctly because the ground isn't leveled. So listen, this is not our forever home. We only plan on being here for another year or two. So we didn't want to have a landscaper come out, level the whole ground, pull up all the grass and put mulch down. So if you're going to do this at your forever home, definitely go that route to make sure that you have a proper foundation for your playhouse but we ended up just moving it around. You'll see at some point um, to more level ground and it ended up working for us. So yeah, heads up. If you want to do this, make sure you do it on level ground. And so now we're getting into the painting. Um, I have all the paint colors listed in the description box below. I did use Bare Ultra exterior paint. It's the paint and primer mix. I think we use around two to three coats of each. Okay, so I wanted to do a quick update. Um, I know I haven't been really showing the process of us painting, but it's like it's the same thing over and over again. And we did go ahead and hook up the swings. Um, I ordered this off of Amazon. It's a bucket seat. Um, I'm not able to take this off right now, but I do want to switch this chain out for the green ones that it came with. Um, I don't know, I may keep it honestly because this one's a lot more sturdy than this one but we'll see um the playhouse we switched it around um the patio not the patio lord the bench is off for right now it's over there the slide is off obviously i did the first coat in here you can see that it definitely needs another coat so probably knock that out um at the bottom while i'm some painting it it should be done I don't know how she did this, like, I'm kind of irritated about that, because I don't have to go back and redo it, but, okay, sorry. So in here, it looks pretty good as far as the paint goes. Um, I don't really think we need another coat down here for right now. Together. I know your mama told you don't let guys go running off with your love You don't even open up, so your heart can't get crushed You've been let down so many times, you wonder if you need to get up You done been through too much, but I ain't tryna mess this up Let's get away, we can take a trip to the bay 
the beach, take a vacay Whatever you like, yeah, whatever you like Oh my, my, you done stressing the night Stay up, watch the sunrise, we just fine, yeah You just need your vacation You just need your vacation Vacation. People say forever is a mighty long time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I ain't really tripping if it mean that I'm holding you close to me. Baby girl, you all I need. Delays. You just need your vacation. You just need your vacation. Yeah. We paint a picture while they be tracing. Yeah. Landing in all type of nations. Can't get enough of your love, girl. You've been so patient. We started off in the basement. Now we up out of space again. Number one is the place we in. It's a meal at the finish line. All my people gon' race to win. Lord have mercy on Polo, please. He got a case to win. Can't vote, never crease, don't bend. If you do, don't cry, we been now. So let's get away. So the next project that I'm doing is actually making her chalkboard that will go behind her rock wall down in the bottom half of her playhouse. Um, I will have the chalkboard paint listed below. And after I painted this board, obviously I let it dry. Then I went ahead and started painting the back of the rock wall white. And then I attached the attachments to actually create the rock wall. So enjoy. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the player. Stick to the player. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the player. Stick to the player. Really, it ain't into it, it just stick to the player. Fit to the player. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the player. Stick to the player. Really, it ain't into it, dog. I'm on the quiet. Turn on near the morning. Find the fire. Living this dream of mine All right, so let's get into the first addition to the playhouse. I knew from day one that I wanted my baby to have a floor for the bottom half of her house. So that's what I did. I built her a subfloor. Um, all I used was just some two by fours and some plywood. Right here, I'm just making sure that I have my two by fours in the proper area. Um, our plywood was three fourths of an inch thick and I wanted to lay flush up with the bottom black frames. And so that's pretty much all I did. I made sure I had enough two by fours for the support of the plywood. And you wanna lay your two by fours in the opposite direction that you're laying your plywood. After a couple tries, I ended up, you know, doing it properly, but it was a struggle in the beginning. This was my first time creating a floor, but it wasn't too bad. So after I had the two by fours in, all we did was just lay the plywood on top and I made sure that I screwed everything down onto the two by fours. And we ended up having a pretty decent floor for it being our first time doing it. Yeah. 
Now for the tile, I ended up just going with a cheap alternative to putting real tile down. This is the Floor Pop Peel and Stick Tile that I got off of Amazon. I originally ordered two boxes and that did not fill up the space. So before you even place your orders, just measure out your, your space and just make sure that you're ordering enough because this tile was sold out when I went back to get my third box and I didn't get it until a whole two and a half to three weeks later. So that definitely delayed the process too. And I also went ahead and nailed down um, some of the pieces that I saw that wasn't sticking properly to the plywood. But you know, you can do whatever you want. I just decided that was the best option for us for her playset. Guess it's home. You still watch it, Tina. I just phone home. Call my mama, told her that I'm grown up. She said, You got old and started showing up. She remember Trey Sean as a youngin'. I don't play for love, no, I don't stutter. No, look, I do it for my sisters and my brothers. And I never been a friend to say I love you. Yeah, no. Bunkers and your speakers in the summertime. Tell yourself that. And this is the finished product. Like I said, you'll see in the final tour that I was able to get the remainder of the uh, tile to finish the flooring. But I think it came out so pretty. This is one of my favorite parts of her playhouse. All right, now it's time to add all the accessories. Right here, I'm going to add the ladder as well as the rock wall and the handle attachments that she's gonna be using to climb up to the top half of her house. Day one, day one. Trying to spend the rest of my life with the same one, same one. Ain't no I and T. I'ma bring you good love, just come with me. Baby, you're all the company I need. Trying to spend the rest of my life with the day one, day one. Alright, let's get into the flower pot. So in the front of her house, she has two flower pots. I got the flower pot base from the Dollar Tree. All I did was spray paint it gold. For the one that I'm working on right now, this is actually underneath her slide. So it's not going to get wet like the other one is. For the other one, I went ahead and drilled some holes at the bottom just in case some water um, was to sit in there. So right here, all I'm doing is hot gluing some aluminum foil. Um, really ghetto, but this is the only thing I could think of to kind of have it propped up because I want the flowers to look like they're overflowing and there's a lot of flowers in there. So I found um, this stuff at the Dollar Tree as well as the foam from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm just gonna place that in there. And then I'm going to start hot gluing some flowers all around it. Y'all, the Dollar Tree has some of the best 
flowers ever. They are so cute. A lot of vibrant colors. Um, the only ones that I didn't get from the Dollar Tree was this blue one that I'm actually working on right now. Those came from Walmart. So yeah, it was pretty simple, pretty easy. And like all the other stuff in her house, I absolutely love it. Right, and right here, as you can see, I am creating the little wreath that is going to go on the top of her house. Really easy, I just used a frame from the Dollar Tree that was shaped like a heart. Got some ribbon, glued it around, and just added some flowers. It was super easy and it's super cute. Okay, I do want to go ahead and apologize. I did not get any good fit footage of me actually creating the awning, um, but I will be explaining it more once I do the final walkthrough um, of the tour. This is the end of the tutorial part, and now for the final reveal of the playhouse. I hope you all love it. I love it. She loves it. Everybody loves it. And yeah, here it goes. Got the summertime love I work for your heart all night to the dawn You stay when they switch doors I know you're the one They go and they come You like the summer breeze Through the trees You like a getaway You and me You like the summertime love You like the summertime love I pull up to your spot in the evening Got a life and a pop for the weekend Girl, I said you're the one and I mean that I mean that I, mean that. I, mean that. I told my baby we can do what you want Take the stress away from what you've been going through yeah. Girl, there's one thing on my mind and it's all with you Yeah, it's all with you Feet up, palm trees, sundress, daiquiri Where you look at me is staggering Where I break out, songs as factory Where I look at you like You got the summertime love I work for your heart Come, you like the summer breeze through the trees. You like a getaway. You and me, you like the summertime. All right, everyone, and this is the final playhouse. She loves it. I am so excited about it. I will go through everything really quickly um, as she swings and wants me to push her. It's the only time I can film this part, so I'm gonna do it with her. <laughs> So this swing that she is actually in is from Amazon. Um, I call it a bucket seat. I'm not really sure what else it's called. Um, I originally wanted to change out the chain to make it green, but I decided against it because that chain right there is a lot more heavy um, and that seat is extra heavy too. Over here, we call this the horse. My mom reupholstered it. Um, she covered it with the same striped fabric that is over on the awning. Um, we love it. She calls this thing a little horse. So the flowers in the flower pot came from the Dollar Tree. All I did was just screw it to the wall right under the window. The flower doorknob is a real porcelain doorknob that came from Wayfair, I believe. I will have that link below as well. I think it was like $4. Her lanterns are from Walmart and the little LED lights inside of it are from the Dollar Tree. Her numbers, which is her birthday, came from Home Depot and I just spray painted them gold. You saw me create this wreath. The ribbon is from Walmart and the wreath frame and the flowers, once again, is from the Dollar Tree with a few exceptions of flowers from Walmart. Her flags up here, I created them out of little canvases and all I did was take ribbon and hot glue them up there very 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 easy 
If we go over to this side where her picnic table is at. Once again, the fabric for the awning as well as the bench came from Joanne Fabric. This is outdoor upholstery fabric, I believe. Um, my mom reupholstered this. I did not paint underneath there. Um, the awning, I have no footage of me actually creating the awning, but I will go over it really quickly. So if we look up under here, there's a beam straight at the top that is measuring at 28 inches. All of the beams are 28 inches. On the sides are some more beams that are also 28 inches. And if we step in here, this beam is connecting everything together. And these both are 28 inches. And all she did was once again take the hot glue, because that's what we love around here, and she attached the fabric. She used a um, little tacks for this for right now. But yeah, that was easier than I thought it was gonna be. And I think it's a really cute addition to the playhouse. Her flower pots and flowers, once again, the Dollar Tree. So these signs, her happy birthday sign, and on today's menu, Cuteness, Sass, and Black Girl Magic, yes ma'am, they both came from Dollar Tree. I ended up buying three, just because I wanted to make sure I had enough letters. Her sign is going to say at some point, Tinsley's Cafe, as soon as I just stop being lazy and do it. So <laughs> it will get done at some point. Back here, I use gold spray paint to paint the rock wall attachments, whatever you want to call them. Um, I definitely love it. It's a vibe. Spray painted all of these black, as you saw in the video. If we come up here to the top part, as you can see, it's pretty empty. I do have a few of her birthday decorations up there. Um, I didn't want to do anything special up here and make it fun. She's only two and as you can see there is no back wall. So I don't want to encourage her to just chill up here. I want her just to come up the ladder and go down the slide. At least until she gets a little bit older. Not saying she's going to jump off or fall or anything but just want to be extra cautious. So yeah that is the top part for now. These boxes right here where her little toys are are from the Dollar Tree. Um, I spray painted the stove, spray painted the sick, the stink, spray painted the phone, um, as well as these windows. These windows is white, and I spray painted them black. Um, up here, I just have these paper tassels. Um, she says it's a party, a surprise. I mean, they're just the paper ones from Dollar Tree. You can definitely get the plastic ones. Um, but water does not sink through, which is a good thing. This sign right here lights up. It is from the Dollar Tree as well. Now, her chalk wall is right here. I found these chalk markers, whatever you want to call them, from the Dollar Tree, and they are so pigmented and amazing. I love these, so I threw away all the other ones, and we got those instead. Push me out the way. Um, you saw this is her flooring. Um, I added this to the back of the house just because I didn't want her to be walking on grass. All right, and this rug is from Five and Below. This blow-up chair is from Five and Below as well. These curtains, I just got one panel of sheer curtains from Walmart, and I cut them and attached them. Really simple, really easy. And that is her playhouse. Um, definitely a labor of love with this project. Um, I love it, she loves it, and I think it turned out to be really cute. This is the Backyard Discoveries Playhouse in the Design Shenandoah. Yeah, this is it.